page 357, number 30. Use the fundamental identities to simplify the expression. Secant squared of x times 1 minus the sine squared of x. Okay, we should have our worksheet with our identities nearby. And one thing that we should notice right away with this particular problem is this. 1 minus the sine squared of x. Now our Pythagorean identity looks like this. The sine squared of x plus the cosine squared of x equals 1. Now if I subtract sine squared of x from both sides, I'll get an equation that looks like this. The cosine squared of x equals 1 minus the sine squared of x. So anytime I see 1 minus sine squared or even 1 minus cosine squared, I should think of this identity. And we can make this substitution right here. 1 minus sine squared of x is equal to the cosine squared of x. So I can write this as the secant squared of x times cosine squared of x. OK, now that we've done that substitution, let's think about a substitution we can make for secant squared. Now I know that secant is equal to 1 over cosine. So secant squared of x is equal to 1 over the cosine squared of x. Now, once I make that substitution, this cosine squared of x, let's think of it as cosine squared of x over 1. And if we take a look at this, we have 1 over cosine squared. That cosine squared of x cancels with this cosine squared of x. We're left with 1 over 1 or just 1. So that whole problem simplifies to 1.